buy oil majors at this level, what we witnessed the last month with negative uh, oil prices in the front month was absolutely unbelievable. It occurred, the oil majors, uh, the stock prices reflected the rebounding of oil in the future, which is steadily now uh, occurring. It seems like we have a bottom in at around high 20s, maybe low 30s for oil. By buying into the oil majors at this point in time, May 2020, you're buying into the notion that the restoration of the cash flow in the future will protect the existing dividends. In the case of Shell, will restore the former dividend prior to the cut. And the scenario that this will happen is, is quite likely. Remember, the oil majors have enough resources to have enough assets to sustain their dividend, but obviously it's uh, there needs to be some recovery uh, at some point before they just sell off their, their entire companies or take on an incredible amount of debt. We witnessed a roller coaster ride due to the coronavirus, a unprecedented global shutdown, this, this cessation of air travel in many parts of the world that led to this oil glut. But we now, going into the summer of 2020, are getting back to normal. <clears throat> By buying into these companies now, you're more than likely to see a 50% return in the next two years. So, uh, and in addition to that, a five to 8% dividend. So buy Royal Dutch Shell, buy Exxon, buy Chevron, buy BP. You'll see BP go from 22 to 35. You're going to see Shell go from 30 to 45. You're going to see Chevron go from 90 to 120. And you're going to see Exxon go from 40 to 60. This is going to happen within 18 months, I want to say. There's a lot more gains to happen later on. Uh, I think the turning point is going to occur around 2022 or 2023. And this is when the convergence occurs, where the electronic vehicles price kilowatt per hour uh, begins to actually increase, um, bucking the trend from the prior decade where uh, it saw a sharp decline. When the strain on cobalt occurs, due to the uh, inability to produce a lithium ion, um, you know, high, higher concentrations of lithium ion based batteries, uh, this will constraint on raw materials will lead to an increase in battery costs and will not make electric vehicles profitable unless the price goes higher. With the global slowdown, uh, high auto, high price automobiles is not something that will be uh, readily purchased by your average consumer. So it will, that by default, they'll uh, stay with their combustion engine vehicles just based on economics. And with the Saudis now reversing their uh, you know, stance from two months ago where they were playing the game with Russia, um, and many of the U.S. drillers slowing, stopping, um, you're going to see a, a balancing of the oil market in the next couple of months. So we're coming out of a glut like we've never seen, but slowly things will get back to normal. So again, to 2022, 2023, this is when the economies, there's a lot of time for the economies to get back on their feet. It's a lot of time for the oil markets to get fully rebalanced. And it's a lot of time for the uh, cheap cobalt supplies to uh, run out and the EV prices to go up. Convergence of the 
uh, fossil fuel companies uh, going down and the uh, electric vehicle companies going up is going to happen and it's, that's going to send a spike into the carbon based companies so keep buying right at these levels if it drops 30 50 percent which it won't buy more and just keep buying keep buying keep buying keep buying i can't say it enough and don't look at the portfolio just keep buying a couple hundred dollars at a time a couple thousand dollars at a time whatever you can afford in a couple of years you're going to be so glad you had these rock solid companies with histories that go back you know over a hundred years they're not going anywhere the corporations are only getting stronger as a result of all this lending and borrowing and middle class is getting crushed but the middle class will still need to heat their homes and go to work and fly in the buy their plane tickets etc so demand will be there uh, and the story of the developing countries that you haven't heard too much about it but i wouldn't be surprised if you know the you started to hear news about some other countries that um show exponential growth in their their uh, fossil fuel demand so keep an eye out on that as well we'll catch up in a couple months but uh that's my call same thing i've been calling for 15 years keep buying